What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about WWE in this video. We're going to go over the recent update regarding Seth Rollins and his injury that was just shared on Monday Night Raw. So Seth Rollins, as we know, suffered an injury on last week's Raw, which was revealed to be like this torn MCL, I think, and a partially torn meniscus. Rollins has been rumored, we know, for a match with CM Punk at WrestleMania 40, and this would seemingly put that at risk. Rollins kicked off this week's Raw with an update on the injury. He welcomed New Orleans to Monday Night Rollins, gave some thanks, and then went into the bombshell announcement. Doctors are telling Rollins he'll be out for three to four months if he's following doctor's orders, which I'll get to in a second. Gunther and Imperium interrupt Rollins. Gunther tells Rollins to concentrate on him because he thinks they've been avoiding each other for some time. Gunther tells Rollins they are just alike when it comes to their title rings, and he's sad to hear Rollins might not make it to Mania. Then Gunther ends up revealing why he's sad about this bombshell news, but Rollins has something else to say. Rollins tells him he doesn't care about the doctor's orders and that him and Imperium should have allowed him to finish because he will be taking the world title into WrestleMania. So Seth Rollins' bombshell announcement is that he is not going to be relinquishing the title and that despite the timetable of three to four months, him and all the doctors involved, I guess, are going to be aiming to have him in the ring at WrestleMania defending his title. As of now, if nothing else changes, they're going to keep the plan for him to just be champion, I guess. Gunther tells Rollins he plans to win the Rumble and he will choose Rollins as his opponent for WrestleMania. Rollins and Gunther shake hands as a show of respect, then New Day attack Imperium because they're supposed to have a match. Now, I will say that while I'm glad he didn't come out here and just say he's relinquishing the title, I am also intrigued at how I feel I know what's going to happen on Saturday, and that's CM Punk likely winning the Rumble. But then I have this curveball with Gunther, who I wouldn't mind seeing win the Rumble either. But then I would also prefer he relinquish or vacate the Intercontinental title after this dominant reign. But then I also would love to see someone dethrone Gunther. It's a, it's a catch-22 for me. So, Gunther being a curveball here does make me doubt CM Punk winning on Saturday. I, I would say Triple H and the way they've been handling creative does a far tremendous job at keeping that unpredictable vibe in the mix, even though it seems very clear what their plans are as it pertains to CM Punk winning the Rumble and him going on to main event WrestleMania on night one against Seth Rollins. However, if it's Gunther... I wouldn't be against it. But then where does that leave CM Punk? Does CM Punk face off against Stone Cold Steve Austin, which I think has been reported in the past. You have the likes of Kevin Owens, potentially. Just random names I'm thinking of. But what did you guys think about the announcement from Seth Rollins as it pertains to him kicking off Raw and sharing that announcement that he plans to go into WrestleMania with the title if allowed? He's not vacating. And unfortunately, for those of you who are looking forward to it, you're not going to be seeing the title on the line in the Rumble unless there's some other curveball that comes our way later tonight. And if so, job well done once again, Triple H. Because according to Rollins, despite the doctor's orders, they're going to try to have him in the main event somehow, some way. As champion, he could, pay, he could be potentially facing Gunther, which I don't really see happening, but I am going to remain skeptical until i see who actually is the last man standing in that ring on saturday night i would 100 percent bet cm punk wins the rumble he's gonna go on to challenge rollins and we're gonna get that dream match that everybody has been clamoring for not only since punk came back in survivor series but for some time and of course cm punk's associations with rollins being in the shield you know there's a story to tell there i cannot wait to see how this all unfolds later this week who do you guys think will win the royal rumble did you want Rollins to relinquish the title? Why or why not? Who do you want Rollins to face at WrestleMania? Do you want him to face CM Punk? Do you want him to face Gunther? Again, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be Punk that wins this Rumble. Or we could see a lot of shifty, twisty, turby type of events that unfold on this road to WrestleMania. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.